What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a new review. Today, what I got for you guys is an Aztec Architect review. Now, this scooter, it's a very nice scooter, and it costs, I think, $160. Um, so, if you have that money and you're looking for a nice street-style scooter, this one will work pretty good for you. So, yeah, let's get into it. So first off, some of the specs, um, the deck is 5.5 wide, I'm pretty sure it is 21 long or 22, um, uh, and the bars, they're pretty tall, um, they're, I think, they're, they're just a bit taller than the Prodigy bars, so I think that would be like 24 or something, and then by, I think, 22. Um, and the wheels, these are actually tied with the, the root honey cores for lightest wheel. Um, and I think they're 110 by 24. Um, the brake is pretty nice. Um, it, it works like a brake, basically. And these grips. These grips are so good. They're so soft and they're big grips. So if you like soft grips and long grips, these ones will definitely work for you. Uh, bar ends, they're pretty soft, uh, which is nice. And clamp, it holds the scooter together nicely. Uh, fork, I'm pretty sure this is actually the lightest fork or at least one of them. Um, headset works pretty well, um, does its job. And the bolts, they don't get stripped easily. Uh, haven't stripped them yet. And don't think I will for a long while. And the deck, I've ridden this for a decent amount of time and that's the amount of scratches I have. So if you want your deck to last a long time, should definitely get the scooter. Um, and these are T style bars. So the, the bars work better for street riding as does basically the whole scooter. So if that's your style or you just want to ride it in a skate park as well, that works too. Um, then definitely go for this scooter. It's probably the best one for its price. So yeah right anyway that is the end of this video if you guys did enjoy please be sure to like subscribe and comment and if you do i'll give you a cookie and here are some of my best tricks on this scooter the first one is the tail whip and it looks like this so here it is And this is the 180, it looks like this. And I'm gonna be adding a half cab to it, so that I'll go back to riding forward. Here it is. This is the no footer. I can't really show you what this looks like without actually doing the trick. You'll see why. I'm catching it pretty high. I'm pretty good at this trick. It's a very easy trick, especially on this scooter, because the deck is so wide that even if you catch it bad, even if you're just on the edge, your legs are pretty far apart. So it's pretty easy to land it. So here is the bunny hop. It, it looks like this. And this is the most basic trick. And this is the trick you're going to need to learn before learning anything else. 